2006, the gods I'm going to give you in the near future. And it's sooner than what some people think. For the Lord says, some are looking and trying to figure out how in the world are we going to obtain anything in the state that we're in. But God said, you're at the right place, in the right position, with the right people, for the favor of God. Haya, hold on and see to follow. And as your hands are lifted, I just see a picture of all you. I see God pouring the oil over your heads. See God smearing you all in the anointing and the power of God. Oh, I'm right, see. And Pastor Diane, that's why the enemy wants to kill you. There is such a deliverance and prophetic deliverance power that's on your life that the enemy cannot stand. But God said, just a reminder, I have, have, I have her hedged in. It does not matter how he comes or what he tries to do. God said, you are hedged in on every side. And he said, every time you get back up, you come out with more power. Every time you get back up, you come out with more anointing. And God said, in this hour, he said, woe well, unto your enemies. He said, because you'll look over them. And you'll have to speak over them. And you'll have to commit them to the ground, saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Lift your hands in this house. I feel some of y'all. I'm going to make a call because I'm ready to go to my seat. But this call is for those of you who's a pastor today I'm in a place where I know the Lord is downsizing me and I'm going to trust God to give him the victory if that's you I want you to come to this altar but when you come once you come with your hands lifted I'm just going to pray over every just pray a general prayer Touching the reader, God's gonna give you the victory. Yes, 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 yes. The God's gonna give you the power to obtain the victory in the face of all your enemies, in the face of all your haters. When He downsized you, that was the best thing that He could have ever done. Amen. Because that you. gave you room. Yes. That gave Him room to work for you. And if you're in the audience, just lift your hands. I'll be ready to take my seat. But I decree and I tell you today that God is going to flip this house upside down. God is going to flip this house upside down. And for people that are visiting and you've been visiting and you're trying to work, figure out whether you should join or not, get on board now. Because everybody that's in the right place, in the right mindset, when God gets to blessing and God starts moving, you'll be right in position to be a part of the blessing. And I say, woe to any of you in here, because I keep hearing God say that to me. Woe to any of you in here that are fighting against the vision or fighting against the man and woman of God. You know, some of us, we do our stuff undercurrently. Some people are very bold with what they do. But the people that God are after are the ones who are doing stuff secretly and are appearing that they're for the house and they're for the vision and for the visionary. Those are the people that God are after. 
So if that was you, I would come up here now today too and ask God to forgive me and repent so I can get in a place where I don't miss the blessing. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I can't afford to miss this blessing. Come on, lift your hands. Father, I thank you for every person that stands across this altar today. I thank you that they stepped out and that they are believing you to give them the victory. I thank you for downsizing them. I thank you for whatever their loss is. I thank you that you are getting ready to give them greater and above anything that they have imagined or can think of. I thank you that their worst days are behind them. I thank you that their best days are before them. I thank you that you shall order their footsteps. I thank you that even in their bodies that you're causing healing to take place. I thank you that great testimony of deliverance and power shall come from these whose hands are lifted. I thank you that you shall perform signs and wonders in the life. I thank you, God, that victory is getting ready to be theirs. I thank you that you're going to bless them in the face of all their enemies. I thank you that you endow them with power from on high. I thank you that your anointing and your power rest on them. Now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for doing it for them now. In Jesus' name. Amen. I need you to go up and praise everybody that's in the altar. Just stay right here. Come on. Can you just go up and praise for me? Can you just go up and praise for me? If you believe God, go give me this.
many sons and daughters that Apostle and Pastor Willie have? At the count of three, I want every son and every daughter of Apostle and Pastor. I want y'all not to praise God for yourself, but I want you to praise God for what God's getting ready to do in them and what he's getting ready to do for this house. At the count of three, if you believe God for your leaders, I want this praise for them. Come on. 